Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how to beat the Puppet Master, giving you some tips and tricks, so let's get into the video. Alright, so there are a lot of people struggling on beating the Puppet Master, so I'm going to give you some advice on what you should be doing to beat it. Alright, so first of all, before you even get to the Puppet Master, you have to battle five bosses with five each of them being a different element. So for Shadow Gerald, which is the first, you're going to want to use an I or two ice pets and an ice relic. The second boss is the ice worm, so you're going to want to use two fire pets and a fire relic. For the third boss, which is Sevalini, you're going to want to use two water pets and a water relic, and so on with the fourth battle being a water pet and er, a water boss and the fifth battle being a uh, storm uh, boss. So those ones are pretty easy, but the Puppet Master is a lot harder. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you're on at least level 90. The Puppet Master is guaranteed to be on level 100, which is why I have not yet won or beaten the pa Puppet Master on this account. You also want to have your pets on level 90 or above. Speaking of your pets, you are going to want to have pets that have at least 600 health, preferably 700 or higher. Also, you do not want to use physical pets unless they have a lot of health, because then the Puppet Master will be dealing a lot of damage to them. Also, don't use pets that have healing spells. If you do this, the Puppet Master can take them when he does the spell that lets him take one of your pets, and then he can heal himself with your own pet. Speaking of which, when he does take your pet, do not hit it. If you go ahead and uh, take it out, then you're probably going to lose because you do get the pet back after a few turns. Now, moving on to your armor, your best option is going to be the Draconix armor. If you're non member, if you are a member, then you're going to want to wear the Mira's robes and the whole mirror set. And then for your wand, you're going to want to wear something that is astral. The best option is the Cosmic Sword, which does about 537 hearts when you're in battle, meaning that it only takes about 8 rounds to take it out, including your pets, so it'll actually take less. If you don't have the Cosmic Sword, though, you could also use the um, Dual Blade, which is another sword that has Astral spells. Or any Astral... any other Astral Wand will work, so make sure to use an Astral Wand. You can also use an Astral Relic, but if as long as you're using a good wand, then the Astral Relic won't be used, but if you don't have a good one, then I definitely say use Astral Relic. Otherwise, if you don't have the Astral Relic, there's no really, not really any point in using a Relic. And as for your boots, it does not matter one bit. Normally, it would matter in, like, a uh, person-versus-person battle, because then you have to control which, or, like, if you want your pets or your wizard to go first, but... In this battle, you're guaranteed to have all three of your team go, and then the Puppet Master will go twice, and then it will switch back. So it doesn't matter at all what boots you use. And finally, if you have Mythical Epics, make sure that you use them. It's basically like having a second and third all-out attack, because the Mythical Epics, their Mythical Epic attacks are basically all-out attacks if they are on a high enough level. If you have all the Mythical Epics, I suggest that you use um, Shiver and S or Splash and Spark and Barbarian. If you don't have Barbarian, I guess Arcturion would work just as well. But yeah, that is about all the tips and tricks that I have for beating the Puppet Master. So that is going to go ahead and end up the video. If this helped you at all, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.